Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. This is a big beer here. This is Avery's Rumpkin. And this is a monster beer. And uh, Beer Advocate, I mean, Rate Beer has this as 18.1%, but it doesn't have that big of. It says 16.73% here on the bottle. And what this is, it says ale brewed with pumpkin and spices aged in rum barrels. And on the other side of the label here, it says bottle, September 22nd of 2014. So, a pretty fresh bottle. This was sent to me by Nate in the massive beer package that he, uh, he sent. He sent several of them. We got one more of the Avery Big Pumpkin Beers in there to do. And that'll wind up uh, the pumpkin beers for this year. Uh, unless somebody else sends me some uh, after this. But that's all I have here on, on, on site here in the fridge. And stuff. We're going to try to do this one today and, and, and the, uh, the, the last one tomorrow. So, uh, there's a couple of the commercial descriptions. I'll start off with this one. Imperial Pumpkin Ale brewed with pumpkin puree, which means it actually has pumpkin in it. And a blend of five spices aged in extremely fresh Gosling's rum barrels for six months. So this beer is set in a, a rum barrel for six months. Uh, it should have uh, in a fresh rum barrel, so it should have big notes of rum in, in the beer. Consume early and often, prefer preferably with pumpkin pie and or s'mores. So uh, I'll be using on this beer. It's 15, so it should be a very bitter beer, but I, I'm hoping it's not going to be a boozy beer either. With that, with a 16.73 percent, it very well may be. So, uh, and it says consume early and often, so they're wanting you to have it pretty fresh. So I'm hoping it's, it's going to be an enjoyable beer. <laughs> the only downfall to Avery's beer is they put this silly ass full uh, covering on the top of the bottles. And it's not like Terrapin's full where it all comes off in one piece and you're done with it. These, uh, these things are glued on and uh, it's just a pain in the ass to get these things off. It really is. So, uh, it's just another... Another one of their quirkiness that they put on their beers uh, to dress them up a little bit. It doesn't, it doesn't help the beer, it doesn't hurt the beer, but it doesn't help the beer. Uh, the other commercial description I have on this one, it says over at uh, Beer Advocate, we wondered what would happen if a monstrous pumpkin ale pumped full of spicy gourdness, which is a play on the term gourd, were aged in fresh rum barrels, to add suggestions of delicate oak and candied molasses, Rumpkin is what happened. This first member of the annual barrel, barrel Age series was brewed with roasted pumpkins from a local Boulder County farm and spiced with nutmeg, cinnamon, and ginger. Uh, the, this has a typical food pairings for a, uh, uh, a pumpkin beer, uh, and it says uh, dessert and the meat is poultry. Uh, those are just suggestions, and I do that for all those. This is not a recognized style in the beer judging uh, guidelines. So, uh, if you like having these, this type of beer with, with whatever, by golly, do it. I mean, if you like having this with whatever meal that you choose, and you like this beer with that meal, do it. I mean, these are just suggestions, and a lot of times you can just chuck these out the damn window. Uh, those are just suggestions uh, that... Uh, the rate beer uh, has on, on on these beers, so I mean it, it can go with a whole lot of different dishes. But this is a big beer, so this uh, it ought to go with your stronger dishes. Uh, I mean, you, you probably wouldn't want to have this with cereal in the morning. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the glass wire pipe back or not a tumbler. I'm gonna use a dual glass for this monster beer, guys. And it says not recommended for selling extended salary unless ABV extends the average range. Well, with 16.73, I think it blows the average range out the frickin' window. So uh, I, I, I don't see why this beer couldn't be selling for 20 years, basically. I don't know what's going to fade over time. I have aged a regular pumpkin beer before, but I've never aged a beer, a pumpkin beer of this ABV before. So uh, let's see if we can get the cap, I mean, the full and the cap off without having a hundred thousand little bitty pieces, which I doubt that's going to happen, so let me see if I can get it off without having to fold down into the beer. I'm not a big fan of this bowl, guys, I'll tell you that. You probably figured that out already. A nice hiss. As you can see, the bowl comes off in little bitty pieces if you try to pick it off. I just don't want it down in the beer. I'm not a big fan of drinking ten full. Just me, I guess. All right, I think we got it all close to the bottle where it's not going to come off. And a 16.73, you think it's going to generate a big head? Let's go down the center. What do you think? piece of tin foil just fell off. I'm glad it didn't go in the damn beer. I hate to do the foil. I really do. It's a pain in Mars. Mars. Alright, looks pretty good. Over to the light. I can see the bulb right through it. It's not super clear. Got a little bit of haze to it. And down the center, it didn't generate very much head. Didn't really expect it to. What it did generate is just barely covering the top of the beer, guys. So, very, uh, Deep amber in color. There are a lot of bubbles streaming up. Fairly carbonated, but not overly carbonated, as the head uh, shows you. So let's get a nose on this one. This was sent to me by Nate, so thanks again, Nate, for sending these massive beer packages you did, sir. You are awesome. You, you hold the record for sending the most beers in one box, sir. That's any surprise, it's not overly boozy on the nose for a monster beer of this size. I am getting the rum. I mean, the, uh, I think it was rum. Was it rum? Yes. Aged in rum barrels. Now, the other one we have in there uh, for tomorrow is aged in bourbon barrels. I am getting some, some nutmeg and ginger and, and cinnamon in here, along with the rum. Smells very pleasant. I'm pleasantly surprised that it's not so boozy it's burning the hairs out of my nose. And Avery is is known for for making these monster beers. They uh, they make some super big beers. I mean, uh, they pretty much got that that down pat. I mean, uh, this comes close to the utopias back here at 26, 27, 28 percent. Uh, for a regular carbonated beer, which the ut Utopias are not carbonated, they're they're almost like a uh, like a liquor. Uh, they are not carbonated, you, and that's why they have the screw tap cap on there, so you can pop the, the 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 cap like this off of it and pour yourself a little bit like like cognac or something uh, in the glass and sip on it and screw the cap back on and and save it for a later time. It's, it's, it's like a whiskey or, or a bourbon. It's not going to go bad because it's not carbonated. And you can you can sample that at your your discretion. Because like I said, it's not going to go bad once you pop the cap on it. So, But most people, when they pop the cap on one of them, you know, there's usually two or three, four or five people in there that want to taste it. And it usually gets passed around and, and everybody gets their little sample glass and, and, and it's gone. It's done. But if you do get your hands on one of the Utopias, you can uh, you can savor it. Uh, you can take a little bit and put it back away, and come back in a month or two or six down the road and pour a little bit more, and and, and keep going till it's gone. So, not gonna lie to you, there is a definite hint of alcohol at 16.73 percent, but it doesn't smell super boozy. Let's see if it tastes super boozy. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Nate. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate it.
big beer. That is a big beer. Not for the faint of heart. If you're a Bud, Miller, or Coors drinker, this will blow your palate out of your mouth. This will be drink, like drinking rubbed alcohol. It's really not bad. It's really tasty. Avery makes some really good stuff. They're just on that big ABV bandwagon where we can brew a big beer and by golly we're going to freaking do it. And uh, they do it fairly well most of the time. But like I said, this is the prime candidate for salary if you wanted to. With 16.73%, this beer is going to keep for 20 years. And like I said, I, I don't know what what would keep it from salaring well, whether you're going to lose the ginger and the nutmeg and some of that's going to fade over time or not. I have not selling a beer this big of this style before. But I do have some AB beers down in the fridge downstairs that I've had in there for three, four, five years that are or these monster sized beers and I just been kind of skeptical on this and when I see that it's got 18 19 percent I just set it in that fridge downstairs especially if I buy it and and somebody's not spent their hard earned money and, and spent for shipping to send it to me I feel kind of obligated uh, to review them in a, in a timely manner just me guys I, I've had uh, Paris and several others say uh, you can sell this if you want to but I mean I I mean, if you're, if you're spending 10 or $15 for a little 12-ounce bottle like this and, and paying for shipping to get it to me, I feel kind of obligated to, rather than stick it in the fridge for 10 or 15, 20 years. And, and who knows, you know, uh, hell, I may be dead by then and somebody else is drinking it or, or, or something may happen to you or, or you may miss the review. And I just feel obligated to, uh, to review, the, review these beers in a timely manner since uh, you spent your money on the, on the beer and shipped it to me. So. This is pretty good, but it is a big beer. I will, I will say, the alcohol. You, you do know that this is a, a monster beer. The uh, sixteen point seven three percent. It's really hard to hide that, but it's, it's fairly well made. This is something you wouldn't want to have for breakfast, and this may even overpower your pumpkin pie dish. It is very tasty though. They they do a really good job. It does have some sweetness to it. With that low IB IB use on this one. It is fairly sweet. I'm getting the molasses, I'm getting the cinnamon, I'm getting the ginger, I'm getting the rum. There's some toffee and caramel in there. Maybe some some hint of some dark fruit. It is really tasty though. It is really tasty. More than likely with a beer this big, this is the final beer of the evening. Uh, so I'm going to sip on this. Might even fire up a, a cigar to go along with this. But uh, this is a sipper, not a chugger. It may take me an hour to drink this. So we're going to let it warm up and uh, let her have a taste or two, whatever she wants. And uh, we'll come back and then do the final chug and grate on this one after it warms up. Uh, and see where we end up on this one. Pretty impressive so far for a monster beer of this size, guys. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Maybe just a little bit more than a little bit. Let me hit this one more time. This beer is awesome, guys. It really, really is. It's uh, for a beer that's 16.73 percent or 72 uh, percent. The alcohol is there, but it's I've had 10, 11, 12 percenters that were more boozy than this is. So very well made beer. I was kind of skeptical before I opened it up. I feared it was going to be super boozy, and it was not. It's there. I mean, you, uh, yeah. if you're planning on drinking a 4 or 5 percent beer, this is not your beer. This is a big beer. It's a monster beer. It's a, that ADV. Very nice. Very well put together. Uh, I am getting the rum. I'm getting the, uh, the nutmeg now that it's warmed up. The ginger. Uh, your pumpkin pie spices are all there. 
But this is a big beer. I just I, I want to emphasize this is a sipper, not a chugger. Uh, the other half loved it. She thought it was very, very tasty, which I do too. Uh, a nice sweetness. It is on the sweet side. Uh, with that that much ABV, there is a whole lot of malt uh, used to produce a beer of this ABV. And then putting it into the rum barrels for six months, uh, you're going to get you're going to get a uh, a nice sweetness to the beer. That, uh, that you're not going to get from a lower ABV beer. Uh, it is a nice, sweet, almost to the barley wine uh, sweetness to me. Uh, just my opinion on that, but uh, it is a very nice, very sweet beer. A sipper, uh, very pleasant. Probably one of the best pumpkin style, and this is definitely a, an imperial. At <laughs> uh, uh, 16.73%. It would almost be considered a quad, in my opinion. It's beyond triple. It's a, it's a, it's it's a very big beer. Uh, definitely one you would want to sip at the end of the evening, and I start off with something like this uh, because you got your buzz going on, and uh, and uh, and I do too. It's a it's a very potent beer. It's a, definitely not something you'd want to drink out. Drink this at home, so, so you're not driving after you've had one of these. Or, or even uh, if you if you're ballsy enough to even have two of these uh, you need to take a cab home or have somebody drive you home even if you don't think that you're inebriated in this state of Virginia if, 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 you, if you blew into a meter after you've had one of these you're, you're going to jail buddy I mean that's just the way it is the days of drinking and driving in the state of Virginia are over and all it takes is a road check or a license check to get you in trouble so that's why I do most of my uh, reviews here at the house and don't drink a lot on the road when I'm out on a motorcycle or in a vehicle. And no more than one or two when I am out uh, uh, and got to drive home. And definitely would not drink something like this out when, I'm, when I have to drive home. So with that being said, let's do the final chug on this one. I love the bourbon and, and the uh, rum and the whiskey barrel. Uh, beers that the, these the craft brewers are doing. It's, they're very tasty. I don't drink a lot of that anymore, but it's a nice kick to the beers I do drink. So uh, I'm a big fan of those. So uh, glad it's not overly boozy. Final chug. When I say overly boozy, it is a big beer. It does have some boost to it. There is a little heat going down, but nothing overpowering. It's not like taking a shot of Jack Daniels or, or something like that, where it's just going to burn all the way down. Uh, a nice, uh, I, I think it's a nice combination of beer and uh, being in the rum uh, barrels. It, it it works pretty good for this beer. Avery's pretty good at doing this. They, they really, really are. They they can take it in and, and, and boost these beers up and, and have a big malt base where the ABV is way up there. And a lot of times, 90 some percent of the time, it it works. They've, uh, they've got it figured out. So the, the head brewer there has definitely got it going on and knows what he's doing. Uh, very tasty. But like I said earlier, this is a real good candidate for cellaring if you can pick up one of these beers or, or, or several of them and try one and, and cellar one for a couple of years or and then cellar another one for 10 maybe even 20 years just to see how it changes over time and how how it uh, how it gets more complex over over time and, and see what fades I don't know if the pumpkin pie spices are going to fade over time or whatever, or, or if it's going to sell it well or not. Because like I said, I've never sold a beer this big in this style before for more than a year or so. So, uh, very tasty, guys. Uh, for me, uh, I was on the fifth between a 9 and a 10. Uh, it does have a code on the bottle here. It says 14265B1. If I was taking a wild guess, and that's exactly what it is, it's a guess. I would say this is the 2014 edition and it was produced on the 265th day of the year. 
that's just my that's just my wild guess uh, looking at the code on the bottle. Then it has a time stamp of eighteen eleven uh, on here on the bottle here. So uh, very nice. It's it's not so critical when you're having a beer of this ABV. It's not going to go bad. It's not like a a low ABV a lager or 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 an ale that uh, you need to have, or a hoppy beer that you need to have uh, within a month or two uh, of being put in the bottle. Of, uh, but this, um, this one is uh, very tasty. And without rambling on, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give it to 10. Uh, Avery's, Avery's got some good stuff going on, and this was a pleasant surprise to me that it wasn't more boozy than it was, being the ABV as big as it is. So, that lends me to think that the other one, the last one we got in there from Avery, uh, which is a little bit bigger than this, I think it's a 17 point some percent, is it's going to be just as good as this one. I hope, got the fingers crossed. And we're going to do that one tomorrow. For me, this is a 10, guys. I was on the fence between a 9 and 10, but I'm going to go ahead and give it to 10. Uh, I'd rather see a bottled on date instead of a code stamp on there, but it is what it is. Uh, I didn't go to their website to try to decipher that. I was just trying to guess by the code with the 14 on there and the 265 that it was produced uh, in 2014 on the 265th day of the year. So, with that being said, uh, let's see what everybody else thinks. We'll go over to uh, Beer Advocate first and they say 91 in their outstanding range. Would not argue with that a bit. It is an outstanding beer. Uh, if you like a bigger pumpkin beer, this would be a good prime candidate to uh, put in your fridge. And over to uh, Ray Beer. Ray Beer says overall 99 and 100 in the style. Now, if I was putting a, new, a numeric rating on this, even though I gave it a 10, it would be it would be between a 99 and 100. So it's uh, it's pretty tasty, guys. So if you had this one from Avery, this is the Rumpkin Monster Beer, 16.73 percent. And evidently the ABV has changed because they have an 18.1 percent listed here on. Uh, on uh, rate beer, so uh, I don't know if it changes from year to year, and this is this year's uh, ABV or or what the deal is. I've not had this beer before from Avery, so uh, that they uh, they may change it up from year to year and and get different ABVs on it. So uh, very tasty, very tasty, guys. So if you've had it, let me know what you think of it, and uh, we're gonna drag that last Avery out tomorrow and see what it brings. Hope you can join me then. See you.